Hello, trading is closed on July 8th, 2020. We'll go over our calls. Look for the pattern with the early low, which tends to be a rally day with a high and the fine lower. We got that. We also said if there's a steep drop early, it leads to further declines in the days to come. I think that's a steep drop, but it's not really as clear cut as I would like. Come back to that in just a minute. During the day, MJT gave a sell signal. A sell signal in the system just means there's a lower target that printed immediately. We weren't obliged to go any lower. We knew if we rallied too soon, it wouldn't stick. We didn't rally too soon. However, the morning pattern gave us an optional target of overtaking this high here. Um, we did that right at the end. And so there's resistance past the target. So we close at the MJT resistance area. And we'll see in a minute there's a lot more resistance at this close from other patterns. Well, here's what we said. Early low, rally day, positive close, high of day in the final hour. Was this a big drop in the first hour or two? Well, first of all, usually when you gap up like this, you're going to have a low two hours into the market. And that, that's a pretty, that's as reliable as timing gets. And this low is right on time. You That's with this particular pattern with the really low. Um, to me, this is an outside reversal a day. You had an all-day rally. You couldn't close over this really high. All you do is retest the lows. I don't think that's enough to cut the mustard, but tomorrow's open can substitute for today's close. So if we gap up, all that negativity goes away. We're still looking for this gap to fill way down here at some point. We still have this trend line until it's broken. I'm going to say it holds, but I can be wrong. You're not certain that you undercut these lows. This is the count we have. That can be wrong too, but so far it's holding and I'll stick with it. One count I won't stick with is this one because I had the Fib ratio between C and A and that was just a mistake. I must have left this behind when I was playing with my numbers and just didn't erase it. So now I have to come up with something else to keep Mr. Fibonacci happy. Well, I came up with this and maybe it's close enough. If this is C, and that's A with a truncated wave 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You pretty much have C equal to A and Black C, this is a magenta C. Black C is a fib ratio of, of A. It's pretty close. Maybe it's the right count, but I'm not saying other numbers don't work. If we're going to collapse from here, I'd be a lot happier if this was a clear impulsive count. You can count this as five waves and you're making a consolidation of some kind and if that's what's going on this high is not going to be broken now we do have trend line resistance you connect that low that high here's your hits here's your hit and the hit comes right at today's high so when you come to these when you come to these trend lines either you gap over them or the trend line wins here's the drop we've retraced 78.6% of the drop. And we're playing Fibonacci ping pong between 78.6 and 61.8%. And if you take 61.8% of that, that's pretty much our high today. So we do have resistance here. If you're a bull and you want to continue higher, you really want to gap up tomorrow. And if we don't gap up tomorrow, I look for lower prices. That doesn't mean this high has to hold. It's a candidate. Till these fall, I'm not certain. 
While tomorrow's pattern has the early low, doesn't mean you won't gap up. The big early drop and the ability of the close to exceed the early high in the day-long rally, which served only to retest the lows of the prior consolidation are all negative things. We also closed a significant resistance. I'm not totally convinced the rally leg's over. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But as far as tomorrow's concerned, if you're a bull, you want to gap over today's high to continue the advance. If we don't do that, I think we'll see lower prices, not just slightly lower prices. If you drop enough, then, the, then this rally legs ended, but that hasn't happened yet. Norbinski will be back here in two days, and we'll see what he has to tell us. Okay, tomorrow, early low doesn't mean you won't cap up. And if you don't cap up, I look for a tradable drop, tradable based on this close. If we just gap down sharply at the open and rally, I can't say that's impossible either. And you might not have a, you might not have a trade. But if we just open right around here or so, I think you'll have a sizable drop. That's today's call.